Hey everyone, welcome to Virtual DJ Tips. This is going to be a show where you'll get tips, tricks, tutorials, and you can ask your questions and maybe I'll put something together for you there as well. Uh, this is the first one. Today we're actually going to talk about something a lot of people are asking about, and that's Sandbox. Uh, Sandbox is only available in version 8. It's a brand new feature. And you may ask, what is Sandbox? You've seen the pictures on the internet where, uh, you know, virtual DJ in the sandbox and castles and pails and shovels. Well, yeah, it's kind of like that because you're playing around with the software um, in a contained environment. Sandbox is actually a contained environment term uh, in the development field, the computer industry, uh, where you could take a section of your computer and you can isolate it, move things around, and not affect the rest of your system. So uh, if you had maybe something that was questionable, like a virus or something like that, or you wasn't you weren't sure it was a virus, you could throw it in the sandbox and it wouldn't infect your entire computer. Now in version eight, we've got something kind of similar. It's a sandbox for your audio. So you can put the software in the sandbox mode. It will output the master to your audience. And then you could fool around with both decks. It's almost like having a second computer available where you would play around with it for personal use and nobody would hear what you're doing. But now it can all be done inside the software. I guess the best way to explain it is to actually jump into the software and see if I can make sense of it for you guys in a little more clear and concise manner. Let's go have a look. All right, just a few notes before we get started. With sandbox mode, it is an audio only mode, so you cannot use it with video currently. You will need to have a master and headphone channel, so this means that you will not be able to use an external mixer. So any controller that supports master and headphones, which most do, or any audio card that suppo supports that as well. So let's go in and actually see what Sandbox does. I have a couple tracks here that are YouTube approved so they won't rip this video down. I've got two loaded here. I'm just gonna make them the same BPM quickly there by hitting sync. Uh, we'll play our first track. Kind of a funky jam. Now you'll see here is where your waveform is going to go for your master out. You're currently hearing the master output. I'm going to click on Sandbox, and it transfers that song in the deck into the Sandbox mode. So that is now your master. So if you watch the playhead inside the Sandbox mode, I can click around here, and it doesn't mess with any of the audio going out to the audience. I can go to my second deck and I want to find a spot where I can mix in real nice. Probably want to be around here somewhere. This is something that you're going to be monitoring your headphone channel. So what I'll do is I'll just make a hot cue and I'll mark that. And I probably want to go about here, somewhere around here. I can actually stop this deck and it won't affect the master out. So I can play around that with a hot cue as well. So now if we get out of sandbox mode the play marker will actually move and you can see that we're coming up to that point that we want to mix to. So I'm not going to be the master mixer here but I'm going to try to find it right around the Not a great mix but you get the idea. Now we've gone into our second track, we've mixed it in where we wanted to mix it in, and we can go back into sandbox mode again, and it now it's showing that deck, because it is your master deck, so now we can go back around, we can mess around with this track, and move our position around, and we can find a mix out point. So I'm going to say right about there looks like a good mix out point, so I'll just mark it again with another hot cue for simplicity. We'll go back into here and find that nice spot that I liked. 
Where there's a big downbeat. Three right about there. Line it up a bit. And I'll mark that. So now if we get out of sandbox mode, we're coming up to our spot. Sandbox mode, we're going to move it a little bit forward. And I'm going to find hot Q2 right about. Oh, I missed my spot, but I wasn't paying attention. So we've gone back into the second track by using Sandbox to kind of hear what we wanted to do without affecting our master output to the audience. And that pretty much covers sandbox mode. I hope you guys took something away from this and you can utilize this feature as a useful tool in your DJ sets. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and keep your head in the mix.